our second two years were spent in a group of 17 different islands. And the only way we could get from one island to another was by sailboat. And so everything went according to the wind and according to the sails and according to the seas and the tides and the flow and currents and so forth. One of the member families on one of the northern islands said, if you'll be here right when the sun goes down, next Wednesday we'll have a family right on the seashore and they'll be ready to listen. So we said, we'll be there. When Wednesday came, we got up really early in the morning before the sun was even up. We got in our boat, we lifted the sail, and then whoom, off we went. Well, we got maybe two-thirds of the way there, and all of a sudden, the wind quit. And we weren't going anywhere. Now, can you think of a more righteous desire than to want to teach a family and asking the Lord, please send us some wind so we can get there. Surely the Lord would hear and answer a prayer like that, wouldn't he? How did the Lord answer our prayers? Someone had a gift from God, a gift of strong arms, plus the gift of faith. And he rowed us to shore. We were able to teach the family. Why didn't I feel that impression? I thought I was praying in faith. To, but I remember I was praying for wind. If the Lord had prompted me and say, well, just get in the boat and row to shore, I probably would have argued with him. I would have said, oh, come on, that's so hard. All you need to do is go, and off we go. <laughs> but this man heard the promptings, and he rode and he rode, and we made it.